Now, let's just get on with this car-based stuff. Um, starting with buses, because reading through your notes, it seems you're not really a big fan. I don't like buses. I, I, well, you know, I think that uh, the bottom line of it is the bus shelter for me, because <laughs> you're waiting for a bus, first of all, in, in something that's been named after a charity for homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> And also, when you, the, other, the other truth fact about buses is uh, when you see a nutter in the street, you ask yourself, how did he get there? The chances are he came on a bus, because, <laughs> because when you go on a bus, they're, they're always full of nutters. And I think it's a sane reaction to think, actually, no, I don't want to be sat next to people like this. I don't like getting off the bus with vomit down my sleeve because someone has been sick on me. I actually think it's time to get a car. What about bus lanes? But, well, but you see, bus lanes, they, again, they make me very cross. And I've, I mean, I've been stopped in a bus lane. I was going in a bus lane in a Fiat 127. And uh, they saw you. Yeah. <laughs> and a uh, policeman just came, stopped me. In fact, what he did, he came to the window. He said, uh, well, do you know what he said? He actually said, are you a bus? to me. And, <laughs> and then I thought, well, I might, be able to walk, I might be able to talk my way out of this one, because... Uh, so I said, you're, you're new to traffic, aren't you? <laughs> and, you, know, you, you can't... But don't joke with a policeman, because once you've joked with them, they say, oh, I see, you're funny, are you? Get out of the car, and, and then he's booking me, and it all got very grown up, and he was doing a ticket, and, uh, and then, as I was doing that, another Fiat 127 pulled up behind mine, so I said, look at that, you wait all day, and two of them turn up at once. <laughs> and, um... Oh, very good. Because where are you on the 4x4 debate? Well, I'm, I'm one of these, I'm one of these uh, you know, people who have a 4x4. I, mean, I, I, I drive one. I drive a, a Land Cruiser, which is about Ooh, the biggest good, one you big can get. One, yeah. And regularly now, I'm on school runs with seven or eight kids in the car. They've all got seat belts, they're all front facing. I don't know any other car I could do that in. Otherwise, I'd go in two cars, you know. But it was true, two cars. Well, even yeah. three, you've got eight children. You've yeah. got three cars. Three cars. That means one of the children would have to drive the third one. But it is. <laughs> that, that's just crazy, Jeremy. It's just, that just never going to wash. And the people you get hassled from are th from these builders and their transit vans go, oh, you shouldn't be in a car like that, you should be in a mini. <laughs> And you say, look, what do you got in there? They've got a packet of biscuits and a hammer in the back of their transit. <laughs> going around looking for the nearest cafe, you know? No, there's also, I just can't understand how we've got to a point in society where obviously everything's so good that people are worried about how many wheels on oh, your car are you being driven. What? You know what, if, if, if you're worried, if you actually have got to a point where you have so little going on in your life that you can start a campaign to stop people driving certain kinds of car, you've got to have a closer look at your own life, not yeah. other people's cars. Do, a, do an yeah. evening course. Because, of course, you do have some social responsibility because you drive a, a Vespa, am I right? A I've got a, yeah, I have got a Vespa. It's, at the moment, it's garaged, um, and uh, I got a penalty for keeping it in the garage. I didn't know you had to keep it licensed even if you weren't using it, or you have to tell them I got it. So if you make it a garden ornament, it's still... You, even if you do that, yeah, I've got this, um, uh, this bastards that run the whole thing, like, wherever, Norwich or somewhere like that, are they? Where are they based? Swansea. Swansea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there they are, you see. Exactly. You, you have to work in Swansea, so you take it out on the rest of the nation by sending out penalties to people for keeping their car in the garage. You shouldn't really be driving a car, because... Well, you took your driving test four times. Oh, uh, well, does that... Yeah, but I passed <clears> in the end. I no, it doesn't it. matter. I, I always maintain, if you can't pass after three goes, you're not cut out for it. <laughs> I mean, if, no, if I went to Manchester United and said, I'd like a trial, if, if, uh, if that's OK, and then was as useless as I am at football, there would be no point going back and back and back. I'm, I'm here again. No, I'm another, no look, you're rubbish. Don't come back. I no, can't. no. It took me a while to get my eye in. <laughs> <laughs> Probably I shouldn't be driving, but occasionally I have to. So I, I try and warn as many people as I can when I'm going to be driving. <laughs> they say, thanks a lot, we'll be staying in. Uh, whereabouts <laughs> at the geography? Well, yeah. so it sets you up perfectly. I found a great way of avoiding traffic, though. Well, you know when they have uh, traffic warning, warnings on the radio when people ring up? But I've discovered, actually, before you set out on a journey, ring the radio station and say there's a terrible congestion on the M25. <laughs> <laughs> And everyone avoids it. It's great, you just go straight through. My other thing is, when there is a traffic jam, and usually it's been to, due to a, an accident, I don't like the way the police kind of beckon you to go past quickly by the time... Because, you know, the rubbernecking. I think we're entitled to rubberneck. We've been, we've been sitting there for 
three quarters of an hour. I want to see what's happened. I want to. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see the idiot who's held me up. You know. Yes. But I'm shy. You know. I hope you're happy. At least you got a neck brace to show for it. I'm actually late. <laughs> anyway, listen. Uh, your lap. Oh yes. Things didn't go really very smoothly when the stig was showing you around. No, I had to. I. I, uh, I, had to, I, was, I got frightened. <laughs> 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 uh, it brought, uh, I had uh, sort of flashbacks from an accident I had when I was about 18. Yeah, I was in the back of a car. It was another Fiat 127, actually. I had to avoid these cars. <laughs> um, and it rolled over on a corner. And I've never got that out of my mind. But once I was actually able to drive, I felt a bit better, because I felt, well, at least if we both die, it's, it's you know, I'll get the credit for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I killed the stig. Yeah. Well, shall we have a look at this, um, well, allegedly sedate lap? Well, Shall we see that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's put it on here. Well, that's not a very sedate start. Well, it's the first time I've driven a manual for 12 years. So. Racing driver excuses before you've even got to the first corner. Oh my God, that's not very fast, Jack. No, I might not. You're not even meant to break here. You're just going to take that. No. You don't need to break when you're going that speed. I'm that's in control, for sure. I'm in control. I'm in control. That's the slowest first half of a lap I've ever seen. Here we go, second half. Yes, it's moving. Oh, God, that was a bit better. I can't do it yet, I can't do it yet. Here we go, now you've got to break a bit. You've got to slow down quite a lot for that. Oh, you're turning a bit soon. And too... Jer Jeremy, it felt plenty fast enough. For the time. <laughs> <laughs> and there What's we go. The hurry? Across the line. There you go. The first half, I have to say, of that lap was quite slow, but it then was. It, you did pick up a bit, I thought, toward mm. the end. So, on that basis, where do you think you might have... Um... Well, I, 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 I probably... I think I'm probably around... I can imagine I'm a driver similar to Stephen Fry. I should imagine that... Steve, he's quite good, Stephen Fry. Oh, was he? So, yeah. I'm way down, really, am I? I'm, yeah, I'm, I've I'm, got you more... I'm, I'm with Blind Man and Vegas. And, well, and Woden. <laughs> You went round in unbelievable... Obviously, picked the speed up a lot, cos you did it in one minute, 53 and a half oh, seconds. Well, there you go. So you're all right. There you go, Bill Bailey. Next time you see Bill Bailey, he'll be yeah, on the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Jamie Thank you.